Hey everybody, welcome back to math. Um, remember, you're going to need something to write on and something to write with, whether it's a whiteboard or a piece of paper and pencil. Either of those will do fine. All right, today we are doing lesson 19 and we are going to be looking at tape diagrams. Some of you may have worked with tape diagrams before, some may have not. That is okay if you haven't. We're starting them today and I think you're going to like them. They're not that bad. So we are going to solve problems together using the tape diagrams. First, we are going to read the problem. Then we're going to draw and label our tape diagram. And then we're going to write the number sentence and the statement that answers the question. So we're going to write our number sentences and then we'll read and we'll say the statements together. We're not going to take the time to write those down right now. But you need to have a tape diagram drawn on your board so and it looks just like this we have our circle up here which is going to represent our hole it's going to be very similar to number bonds actually and then we have our two lines coming down here in a big long thin rectangle okay just like the one you see on the screen up here so take some time draw that out right now it can be pretty big because we're going to be drawing circles inside of this rectangle. So make sure you leave it big enough where you can draw inside of it. All right. This first problem, I want you to follow along with me. You do not have to write anything down, okay? Because I just want you to see how it works. So I'm going to put my board down for right now as I read through the problem. All right. If you look where my cursor is, I will start reading this problem. It says Lee saw six squashes and seven pumpkins growing in his garden. How many vegetables did he see growing in his garden? Now, if we look at this tape diagram, we have our squash over here and our pumpkin on the right side. And then above it is our tape diagram. And it says in the problem, Lee saw six squashes. So that's why there are one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one right here. So we have six circles on that side of the tape diagram. And then we drew this line here. So I'm going to show it to you on mine because this is exactly what you are going to be doing for the next problem and for your assessment questions. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five. And then notice they had a little space in between theirs because we keep things in groups of five. So it's easier to count later on. So I'm going to have that space. And then put my sixth one there. And then I'm going to draw my line. So I have my S for squash and the number six above it. I'm also going to write the number six and the S down here for squash. Yeah. Now my other side, it says in the number sentence, seven pumpkins. So that's why they have one, two, three, four, five six, seven circles drawn on this side. So I'm going to put my P for pumpkin, the number seven, and then draw one, two, three, four, five, a little bit of a space, six, seven. It should look very, very similar to a number bond, except with number bonds, instead of our drawing, we have the numbers. Tape diagrams, we have our drawing and the number right above it. So we need to figure out what 6 and 7 coming in together makes. Because we want to know how many he has, how many vegetables he has in his garden. He has 6 squash, 7 pumpkin, but I want to know how many he has all together. To find something out all together, we have to add. So we are going to take our 6 squash plus our 7 pumpkin and to figure this out. I can do this a couple ways, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna count on. I'm gonna put six in my head and count these seven. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So my answer must be thirteen. And that is what goes up in the whole spot. Six plus seven is equals thirteen. We put thirteen up in our hole. And then our statement to answer the question is, he saw 13 vegetables growing in his garden. All right? So when you're doing assessment problems for homework tonight, this is what each problem is going to look like. 
I'm going to give you some time to practice it right now. So make sure you have your tape diagram set up. Give me a second to erase mine and get mine going again. Okay, I'm doing as fast as I can. Hang with me. Let's see, we have our hole up top, our big rectangle, my lines. Oh, all right. I am set. So this problem says, let me read it real quick. It says, Kiana caught six lizards. Her brother caught six snakes. How many reptiles do they have all together? So lizards and snakes are both reptiles. So we need to figure out how many reptiles we have all together. So are we going to be adding or subtracting? Say it right now. What do you think? Adding or subtracting? We're going to be adding. Because if we want to figure out how many of something there is all together, that word all together, or the, right here, means we're going to be adding them together. So let me set up my tape diagram. It says Kiana caught six lizards. So we have our picture of our lizard up here and our six circles right on this side. L stands for lizard. So I'm going to put my L and I'm going to put my six and then I'm going to draw six. One, two, three, four, five, a space, and then six. Then I put my line, and it says her brother caught six snakes. So I put an S for snakes, and six up top for how many there are. Now I'm going to draw them. One snake, two snake, three snake, four snakes, five snakes, and six snakes. So be thinking, what do you think our number sentence is going to be? If I have six snakes, or six lizards and six snakes, I need them to come together. What do you think our number sentence is going to be? Take a couple seconds and write one down on your paper, and then we'll compare it with mine when I write mine, and we'll see if they're the same. Take five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, bring it back. Now, let's see if your number sentence is correct. I already said we're going to be adding, so I'm going to put that plus sign right there. And we're going to be adding the only numbers that I really have. It's just like a number bond. If this is a one part and this is the other part and this is the whole, we have part plus part equals whole. So first part is six, six lizards, plus six snakes equals... And I know my doubles really well. I know 6 plus 6 equals 12. But I'm going to count it just to make sure. So I'm going to count on the screen right here. We have one, well, So we have 6 lizards, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Awesome. I was right. I hope you got 12 as well. If you didn't, take some time to go back over it and see where you went wrong. When we find our mistakes and fix them, that's how we can learn best. So my 12 comes up into the whole section of the tape diagram. 6 plus 6 equals 12. There are 12 reptiles all together. All right. Now, I have one more problem for this lesson. I'm going to give you, once I show it on the screen, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to set your tape diagram up. Then you're going to work on your number sentence and find your answer. And then you're going to fill in your whole section in your tape diagram. And then we'll come back together. I'll walk through the whole thing. And you can see if you did it right or if you need a little bit more work, which is perfectly okay if you do. So our next one. I'm going to read it a couple times for you. So take a couple seconds right now while I'm erasing to find a blank, uh, blank spot on your piece of paper. And draw in a tape diagram. I'm going to draw mine real quick while you're drawing yours. Rectangle. Awesome. Okay. I have mine. If you don't have yours yet, you can pause the video, take as much time as you need, and hit play when you're ready. But I'm going to read the problem for us for the first time right now. It says, 
Anton's team has 12 soccer balls on the field and three soccer balls in the coach's bag. How many soccer balls does Anton, Anton's team have? So it could say how many soccer balls does Anton's team have all together. They want to know how many total soccer balls they have. So go ahead. You can set your tape diagram up just like it is in the screen. And in a couple seconds, I will walk through why they have that set up like that. But I'm going to read the problem again. So if you need it, listen closely. I have Anton's team has 12 soccer balls on the field and three soccer balls in the coach's bag. How many soccer balls does Anton's team have? Go ahead, take about a minute to work on this problem. I might not give you the full minute, but again, if you always need more time, if you ever need more time, just hit that pause button. Okay, I am sure you need a little bit more time to work on this problem, but go ahead and hit the pause button and hit play whenever you are ready. I'm going to walk through the problem right now. So it says Anton's team has 12 soccer balls on the field. I know that I need to draw that picture. So I have F standing for field, and I'm going to draw my 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. So there's all the soccer balls on the field. Then I draw my line, and it says there are three soccer balls in the coach's bag. So I need to put B for bag, and three for how many there are, and now I'm going to draw them. One, two, three. So now I have my tape diagram set, all set up. It looks just like the number bond. I have my two parts in the proper place. So now I need to figure out my number sentence. I know that part plus part equals whole, and I'm trying to figure out my whole, so I'm gonna drop my numbers down. 12 plus three equals, well, I'm gonna count on. I'm gonna put 12 in my head and count these three. So do this with me. 12, 13, 14, 15. So now I know that there must be 15 total soccer balls on Anton's team. And where do I put that 15 in my tape diagram? I put it all the way up here in my hole because that is the total amount of soccer balls. Just like when we're writing our holes in with our number bonds. So if we look on the uh, slideshow screen, we have 12 plus 3 equals 15. Our two parts equal our hole. And our statement would be, Anton's team has 15 soccer balls. And that is the end of that problem. If you need to work on that problem a little bit longer, feel free to go back into the video and do it again um, so you can get some more practice. Now, so this is the end of our, uh, of our mini lesson. We just worked on, uh, you just they were introduced to tape diagrams. And we talked about how tape diagrams are very similar to number bonds and how they both have two parts and how those two parts can come together to make the whole. And the whole is even in the same spot. It's all the way up on top. So in your assessment questions, in, in your assessment video, you will have a couple more problems just like the ones you saw here that you are gonna set up just like I did on my whiteboard. And then, um, which I will give you more directions in that video. So awesome job. Keep it up and exit out of this video and then head over to the assessment video. Good job, guys.